ันอ c o e f f i c i e n t of x square right here equal four c o e f f i c i e n t of y square right here equal four okay in order to do complete square right here the c o e f f i c i e n t in front of x and y square right here must be one okay so in order to do that you need to divide the whole thing on the left and the right hand side by four okay divide by four to make it one okay so if you divide by four you get what four divide by four one so you have x square left Now 9 divided by 4 is to be plus 9 over 4 s square. Okay, 4 divided by 4 gone. 4 divided by 4. So it should, you have y square right here. Now look, the reason why I leave the space right here. Okay, I will let you know later. Okay. Now negative 13 divided by 4. I just write negative 13 over 4. Why? Right. You need to divide each terms by 4. Okay. Now negative 4 divided by 4 is to be negative 1. I need to leave that space right here. Uh, negative one equal zero divided by four is gonna be zero. Okay. Now the reason why I leave the space right there because I need the third term. Okay. I add something and then I put a blank right here. I add something. I put a blank right here. Now look at the formula right here. We actually look at the formula right here. So let me erase this one so that you can see. It. Okay. Now we actually look at the first one right here. Okay. Um. Look at this one. So we actually have the first two terms right here. Okay. The first two terms right here. We need the last term. Okay. So if we have the last term, and then we have the complete square right here. Okay. What this is our goal. I will go right here. Okay, this is go. Okay, so we need the last term. How do we identify the last term? So basically, in order to identify the last term, you just take a look at the middle terms coefficient right here. Oh, sorry, my bad. This should be s only, not s square. Okay, so 9 divided by 4, this is a coefficient in front of uh, s right here. Okay, so 9, 4, 9 over 4 right here. You take the middle term, divide by 2, and square, okay? So 9 over 4 divided by 2 should be 9 over 8, and you square it. So it should be 9 over 8 square. Don't need, you don't need to calculate it. You just leave it because it helps you a lot. If you calculate it, uh, you may be, you know, in trouble later. So please don't calculate this one, okay? And this one, same thing. Uh, don't look at the subtraction side. Look at 13 over 4 right here. 13 over 4 divided by 2 and square. So it's 13 over 4 divided by 2, 13 over 8, and square to put 13 over 8 square right here. Okay. So ju you just literally add 9 over 8 square, and then 13 over 8 square, all right, on the left-hand side. You need to do the same thing on the right-hand side, okay? All right. If you don't do it, and then you get the wrong answer, okay? So I because, I because I don't have enough space right here, so I just erase this one, and I, I write it, okay? So this is right here. All right. Uh, right here, remember, we have negative 1. So I just add 1 both sides. OK, so I have 1 right here. And then I add 9 over 8. All right, all together, square plus 13 over 8 square. OK. All right. Now the left side right here. So we just literally have, all right, Three terms, okay. We I just group them, I group them, I group them, I group them. Okay, this is the first one right here, and we see that the middle term right here we have the plus side right here, and then this is actually complete square on the first formula right here. Look, a plus b square. So a would mean s, okay. So you have s right here, all right? Because s square right here you just put right s. Nine over a square right here you just write nine over a, okay. That's the reason why we don't need to calculate this one, okay? If we calculate this one, and then later you need to take square root, so you just leave 9 over a square right here. And then when you write complete square, you just write 9 over a, you remove the square, okay? And then you see the plus side right here? The plus side right here determine the side right here, okay? And then you open parenthesis, close parenthesis, square, okay? Now you do the same process for the second one. So for the second one right here, the y square you just write y 13 over a square you just write 13 over 8 okay 
Now the side right here, the middle term side right here, subtraction side, this determine the side right here. Okay, and then you put square right here. Okay, and then right here you just simplify. Okay, you just do mental math. Okay, nine square should be eighty one. Okay, eight square should be sixty four. Okay, thirteen square should be one sixty nine square. A square should be 64, okay? Now, one right here, I just write 1, which means 64 over 64, okay? So basically, I just write 64 over 64, okay? Now, 9 square should be plus 81 over 64. All right, this guy, 13 square should be 169 over 64, okay? All right, the last step all right so basically i just copy this one down very simple s plus 9 over a square plus y minus 13 over a square equal this one if you add them up it should be 314 over 64 and this is the answer all right and i hope you enjoy the video okay see you next time bye bye